Do you ever wonder how much you can do in a free doll, like traction waveform free? I've been wondering about bad guy Billy Eilish and Phineas, and could it be done in waveform free? Let's check it out. I use a low pass and a high pass, and there's an EQ there, giving it a little boost. One of the things that Phineas is particularly good at is that sort of underwater, really deep sub bass stuff. And um, I was able to get that using a, a four OSC or a four oscillator synth that comes free with this DAW. There you got this one called Alpha Me. And you could change a few of the settings here just by a little bit of tweaking of that four OSC. Four OS. So this Alpha Me, that did the bass. Don't mind this over here. This is a crusher. This is if we were to use the pro version. And we might add stuff like that in there from DAW Essentials. Those things are really good. So you highlight that and press D, it duplicates the track. And a MIDI modifier then brought it up 12 semitones, which you can do quickly like this with plus one octave. So here's the original bass part. And then here's the other part. Together. Just gives it a little bit more definition. And likewise, this one, this is the bass EQ and I've taken out the bit that's boosted in the kick part. To make sure that those frequencies don't interfere with each other though, because if the bass and the kick drum are in the same frequency range, then one will fight the other, especially if you're like a semitone apart or something like that. I put it on cowbell there. See, you can grab any kick at all. So I'm going to put a kick in there instead of the clap. Just drag it in, drop it on the button. I can change this to kick. That sound. They're a bit different, but lots of options. And if it doesn't have it, you can sample it in yourself. Hats. Clap. Just to show you what's going on here. I know it's not the sound that Billy Eilish's track has, but it's just something that I threw together pretty quickly. This thing called legato. If you listen to it without legato, you get this. Turn it up. So you see, it gives it that sort of sliding thing, sliding to each pitch. So that's called flute. I changed a few of the settings. Just play around with it, tweak things, see what you think fits. These things here are really handy too. Send and return. So all of those are going down to this one here as a return. That goes to reverb. And what you're hearing right now is Dragonfly reverb. Let's turn those off and I'll show you this one. This is called a rack. So there's a reverb in here and there's an EQ there with the reverb. It just makes it a bit more musical in this context. So that's the free reverb. So it's not bad at all. The free reverb. I think you kind of need some EQ and stuff to make it work. Now, onto the vocal part. I'm a bad guy. So what's going on there is all happening inside this rack. So each of those is a modulator that you, you grab one of these drop them in there. If you're working on free, you've got the choice of LFO only. And then you get this kind of a thing where you can decide where each thing goes, how, how far it goes, all this stuff. So what I've got going on here, this is basically making the volume go up and down. This one is enabling that, it's turning it on and off. So sometimes the volume stays where it was. This one is doing the rate, so it affects the rate over time. This one's also oscillating itself to some degree. So you can do any parameter like that. You just click on that thing and you can move something. Like watch what happens to the pen. See that started flickering like crazy. So it's great. More on the modulators. I've got a video coming very soon. Subscribe and don't miss it. I'll see you soon.
Rebecca. Duh.